Hey friends all over the world, Dr. Keenan here, and uh, I wanted to tell you this urgent message, wanted to share with you, a massive storm is coming, a massive storm is coming, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news, I don't know if you've been watching the weather forecast, but many of you have followed uh, the meteorological meteorological um, forecast about the hurricane that is coming up through the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, they are anticipating very powerful winds, storm surges. Uh, they're really anticipating that this will affect millions and millions of people. And so, of course, we solicit your prayers here in Florida, particularly um, Tallahassee, although I live in Tampa. And we ask that you would uh, pray. Uh, again, you've watched the news forecast about Helene and all the things that are happening and I, again, I want you to pray for us as we pray for you because they are predicting some massive, massive, massive things with this storm. So again, in all seriousness, I want to pray for people all throughout Florida, even into the Carolinas. We want to pray even as I'm driving now, the winds are very powerful. Very powerful winds, gusting winds, etc. But I want to tell you something that's not the purpose of this broadcast. Although I'm talking about Helene and all the things that have been predicted with that storm system. That's not what this is about. The massive storm that I'm talking about is not a physical storm. In fact, I believe that what happens in nature, what happens in the weather, what happens in the natural is but a shadow, but a symbolism of a deeper reality. And the deeper reality is that in the spirit realm, the atmosphere, something is shifting. There is a shift in the realm of the spirit and you can sense it. Something is shifting. The The winds are changing. They're moving in a different direction. In fact, I would just declare that the winds of change are blowing. I know many people right now are concerned about the physical storm and we're going to pray for that. That's not to diminish the importance of that, but I want to let you know that in the midst of this storm, there is actually a shift. This storm represents a prophetic harbinger. It is a shift that there that the winds of change, massive change, is on the horizon. Something tremendous, something magnanimous is happening in the earth. And this storm is nothing more than a herald of that change. I'm telling you, pay attention to the next several months because you are about to experience an unusual shift in your life. There's a there's a wind. There's a wind that is coming, an east wind coming that is changing everything. And a lot of times uh, the best best way I can compare this, it's like for many people during the pandemic in 2020, it was a massive shift, a massive departure from social norms. We went from talking and walking freely to social distancing and mask, and it happened suddenly, just like almost like it happened overnight. All of a sudden, the the social dynamics, the economic climate shifted in such a massive way and it happened just like that. And I'm telling you, we are on the verge 
and we are in the throes of yet another shift. Something is happening in the spirit realm that you need to pay very, very close attention to. Just as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. And just like with the storm, with this physical storm, it's all about preparedness. It's all about preparation. It's all about anticipation. You have to anticipate the storm. You have to anticipate the storm. And I'm telling you tonight, anticipate the shift. Just as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. Just as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. You must learn to anticipate the move of God. In fact, the Bible actually says something interesting. Jesus said, you can look at the weather. He was talking about the religious leaders. He was talking to the religious leaders. He says, look at, you can look at the weather. He's talking to the religious leaders. He says, you can discern the weather patterns and tell, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be fair weather. It's going to be inclement weather. He says, you can look at the signs in the sky, the signs in the celestial atmosphere, you can tell something is shifting. He says, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. And friends, I'm telling you, the times have changed. We have just entered into the fall season recently in September. And yet that fall season is not just a change in weather. See, a change in season is not just a change in weather. It's a change in the atmosphere. It's a change in the systems. And so God is saying to us today that the winds of change are blowing and we must anticipate. And just like during the pandemic, for many people who were sensitive to the voice of God, what was a tragic season, what seemed to be a season of calamity, a season of pandemonium became a season of prosperity because of the way they position themselves. And I'm telling you it's the same way. I believe that we're coming to something. Let me tell you something. This is a season of suddenly. Hear me by the spirit of God. This is a season of suddenly where things will begin to happen so fast, your head will swim. This is a season of recompense. A season of recompense. Something is shifting and you need to be prepared. You need to position yourself. Hear me. You need to position yourself in the will of God. You need to pray. You need to anticipate. I'm telling you. And for many, what will be a storm of chaos will be a storm of glory. That the flood... I would even say the floodgates are about to open for many of you in a very unusual way. You're going to say, man, what in the world? God, I never anticipated this. I never thought you could do this in such a short time. There's a condensing of the atmosphere, a condensing of time. Time is bending upon itself to accommodate eternity. Let me say that again. Time is bending upon itself to accommodate eternity. Something is shifting, beloved. Get ready for a glory storm. Get ready for a storm of unusual provision. Get ready for a storm of the presence of God that you have never experienced before.